All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome to OASP's APSEC Israel 2017. As you all know, the best APSEC conference in Israel, best security conference in Israel. Yeah, without, you know, without uh, throwing shade on any other conference. Um, real quick, I'm going to talk for a few minutes and then I'm going to pass on to you know, the actual uh, speakers that are here. That, that's what you came for. You're here to, to see me hand, hand it up on stage. A uh, few quick logistics and then I'm just going to talk a little bit about OWASP. Uh, first of all, as every year, we cannot bring any food or drink or coffee other than water into any of the rooms, the auditorium or the other rooms. So please remember, eat outside and uh, leave your coffee outside. Uh, in case anybody needs to recharge, there are power outlets under everybody's seat. You can find them. Please do not leave any cables there. We have a couple from yesterday that were left that we need to deal with. Uh, so yes, yeah, so take your cables with you. Uh, as you can tell, I am speaking English in contrast to previous years. Uh, this is a decision that we've been trying to do for a few years. This year, we've been gaining a lot of international attention. A lot of people want to come internationally. Uh, and we've been collecting statistics that say while many people would prefer Hebrew, see, most seem to be okay with English, whereas the opposite is not uh, necessary. So, yeah, it's part of the conference growing up, now that we've been doing it for 11 years, I think. It's time for the conference to grow up, and uh, yeah, I don't think anybody will have a problem with that. Uh, there is, a, anybody that parked their car in the parking lot here, there is a machine to pay your ticket. You can pay any time during the day. It's right underneath the stair stairs to the auditorium. If you pay now, you don't have to wait online afterwards and the, you know, ease up the uh, traffic leaving the, the parking. And any social media that you post, we'd really appreciate if you use the AppSec IL uh, hashtag. You'll be able to find it a lot easier. Now, I've been talking. Most of you probably know me. Uh, for those that don't, my name is Avi Douglin. You've probably been getting a ridiculous amount of emails from me. Um, I'm not sorry about that. Um, a lot of people are still uh, filing in. It's good. Uh, so as you probably know, I am the chairman of Alasp Israel. Um, we're the uh, Israel chapter of OWASP, we run the, the conference. Um, just so you know, my background is a security consultant, architect, research, developer, things like that. And if you ever want to uh, buy me a drink, always appreciate it. Smoky whiskey, dark beer, strong coffee, anything that's like, yeah, that's good. Um, I also run uh, a moderator on Security Stack Exchange, those familiar with Stack Overflow, Security Stack Exchange is the same thing, just for security. Uh, always a good site to, uh, to be on. And well, I'm not going to go into uh, the high school issue now. Uh, obviously, I don't run the conference alone. We have a great uh, chapter board here. Um, so we have uh, Ofer Maurer, he's not here yet. Ofer? No. We have uh, Ora Katz, raise your hand, there you go. Um, Or has been doing a great job getting us a uh, budget for the conference. We have uh, Yossi Oran. There you go. Chamed, is Chamed in the room? In the back. There you go. We made a small change. We had a few small changes to uh, the board. One of the changes that I'm going to talk about now is uh, Erez Matula was running our CFP and content for the past few years, and he, had, he stepped down. So, first of all, uh, is Erez in the room? Well, I think you guys did a great applause also. He's been doing a great job for the past few years, working on amazing content. Uh, this year, Irene uh, stepped up, take his place, and she's also doing a great job. She's, Irene's not here yet? Give her applause anyway. She's doing a great job. There you go. And my ticker face is all over the internet. Uh, I'm sure you've uh, gotten it. Um, other, than that, other than the uh, chapter board, we've had a lot of people working on the conference with us uh, this year. As the conference grows, we have a lot more people. Um, so Erez Medulla, even though he stepped down from the board, he still continued to help with uh, the speakers and proving... Yeah, there's Erez Medulla. Give him a hand, guys. <laughs> even though he had to step down from the board, he continued to help us improve the, uh, the speaker deck and the mentorship and things like that. It's been really amazing. Helped us pick out amazing content for today. Um, a few other people joined us was also Ian or Iftah Amit. Um, and Guy Mizrahi were working on the content together with, uh, with uh, Irene. Uh, Karen Elazari and Shira Shamban 
uh, Karen runs besides Tel Aviv, our only other real uh, competition when it comes to community uh, conferences for security in Israel, uh, another great conference, and Shira runs uh, SheCodes, they helped us put on, last night we had a really great Women in AppSec event, they helped us put that on, they helped do a lot of PR for it. Uh, Yigal Elephant and Tomer Zai helped put together a nice website to take the place of our cranky old uh, wiki, which was really pathetic. So I have a really nice website now, thanks to these guys. Um, so I think this whole group gets, gets a round of applause because they uh, we do a lot of work for it. And, and all they get is this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> Not lousy. So what are you guys all here for? The biggest, the best AppSec event in Israel. Um, people are still filing in. We're expecting six, seven hundred people today. That's great. We're going to have a, a whole bunch of great, amazing talks today. Uh, um, I just, I mean, off from some of these topics. It's great stuff. We're going to have uh, uh, two tracks, um, fourteen different lectures. Um, we also have a capture the flag competition run by uh, one of our spot by our diamond sponsor GE. They have a really big model. I'm sure you've seen it all by their sponsor stand. If not, go take a look. Uh, that's the uh, URL for anybody that wants to sign up uh, and join the Capture the Flag competition. You can do it anywhere. Yeah, you don't have to be in a specific room. Um, so that's the URL. They have some really amazing prizes. Uh, looks really interesting. You guys can join as a team. If you, anybody that wants to go as a team, uh, uh, rack up more points. They're also doing a few workshops, some technical workshops. Um, for those that have difficulty with some of the topics in the Capture the Flag, some uh, really nice uh, uh, in-depth content, hands-on to really practice some of the, uh, the topics. We're also going to be doing a resume workshop or a, a CV uh, review, those that are new or not so new to the industry and feel that their uh, resume or CV does not properly showcase their talents and what they can do. You can sit down with an expert. Uh, with an experienced hiring manager or an HR director, and they really help you, uh, they give you some tips to really improve your CV and be able to get you the job that you really deserve. Because I, th I think that's really cool for them. And of course, we have a whole lot of sponsors uh, in the other building, the uh, uh, Computer Science Building. Uh, please visit them, they're giving out some great swag, some really interesting product and services. Uh, a lot of them are looking to hire. Uh, if anybody's looking for a job, uh, a lot of really great, great companies to work for. <coughs> Uh, yesterday, anybody who was here yesterday, right, show of hands. Oh, awesome. So those that weren't, uh, you might not know, we had a, for the first time we did a second day, or rather a minus one day, of uh, we did a training day for developers to expand. This is really what OWASP does. This is our mission. I'm sorry, but you guys are not our target audience. Developers are target audience. Actually, I don't know. How many here are developers or working development sometime? Okay, I stand corrected. You guys are target audience. That's what, that's what we're here for. Our purpose is to make uh, the world more secure, to make uh, software security visible. And one of the steps in doing that is reaching out to developers, especially those that are new to security, uh, and teaching them the basics of secure coding and security principles and things like that. And that's we had uh, um, just over 300 developers here yesterday that had a full day, hands-on, amazing session with uh, Shai Chen. Um, I heard some great things from people. They, re they really enjoyed uh, some of the things they learned. And they really learned the basics. In the evening, we had for the first time in Israel, we had what we call a, a WIA event, Women in AppSec. Um, around uh, 40, 40 something women showed up. It was a women's only event. They had a really nice panel with career tips. Or so I heard I wasn't allowed in. Um, but that's a really nice event, the, uh, mentoring, some networking, and the reason that we do this is because, you, as you all know, there are not enough women represent, female representation in our industry. And seeing other women professionals, senior professionals that have done it and succeeded really encourages, and I talked to a lot of younger uh, women last night that came to the event and they're like, oh, this is really cool. This is something that I could see myself doing and succeeding in. And I think a lot of women will be joining the industry, uh, whether they're students or, or you know, more experienced in other professions, and joining the industry. This is really what we need, more women to join the industry, and, and that really helped. So that was yesterday. Today's the second day. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, our, our sponsors real quick. Uh, before our sponsors is uh, Dr. Yehud al in the room. He's not, maybe we'll join us later, say hello. Uh, our physical host on the location. So here are sponsors. First of all, for the first year we had it, we offered a diamond sponsorship. Uh, thanks to GE, G came to us and said, we really want to uh, increase uh, visibility. Where is um, your? 
So G uh, Digital is um, our diamond sponsor. I'm going to invite uh, Lior to come up here to say a couple words about mostly uh, IoT. That's where they focus on. Round of applause for our diamond sponsor, please. Thank you, Avi. I think it's a, it's a pleasure be, being here and also taking a part in the in this conference and in general with uh, OAS. Um, for uh, General Electric, it's uh, it's uh, not the, the first year, and we are always happy to take part in something like this. I think it's a very important uh, conference and also a very important uh, organization. So. Uh, uh, with that, uh, you, you might ask yourself, uh, what is the connection between uh, General Electric and, uh, and uh, web uh, security? And you will be uh, surprised to discover how many web technology is now part of uh, uh, IoT in, in terms of uh, infrastructure, the control, power plants, uh, uh, oil rigs, and different types of uh, equipment. The same technology that we have seen uh, uh, for website is now in all of those devices, and the impact is uh, even more uh, uh, bigger than what we can see in other areas uh, if you think about just uh, plain websites. So for us, it's extremely important to support this effort and also to get a lot of uh, benefit out of it. Uh, we try to support this conference not just being a sponsor, but also by trying to build a very interesting uh, competition for you guys. Uh, uh, there are really great prizes. We'll see who can really... Yeah, prizes! <laughs> yeah. We'll see who will manage to actually get them. Uh, and uh, we decided this year to also uh, really provide an in-depth uh, workshops. Uh, this year we are actually revealing uh, several uh, critical CVEs. First time how they were found and uh, how to exploit them. It's the first time that this is ever presented. And also uh, different uh, uh, attacks on big companies and we'll see that also in the uh, challenges themselves. So we are taking uh, issues from the real world and giving you the opportunity to actually exercise them. I'm really excited for that and I thank you for the opportunity to take part. Thank you, Leo. Uh, we have a lot of other sponsors too. Uh, our gold sponsors are Imperva, Synopsis, Akamai, White Source for the first time joined us. I'm very happy to uh, see more uh, companies in the space joining us and Perimeter X. Uh, of course, all these sponsors do have booths and stands. You can go visit them and talk to them and see what they're about and uh, either you know, buy the product uh, or their service or go work for them. A lot of companies are looking to hire. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot CyberArk also. Um, yeah, so these are gold sponsors. Our solar sponsors also are here. Twistlock, Checkmarks, Comstock, Intel. Accenture, Maglan, AppSec Labs, SafeBreach, CyberJobs, Microsoft, and Ben Gurion University. We also had a few community supporters join us. Uh, they don't have a booth, but they're still here. Representation, you can find them. They have uh, flyers passing out. You can uh, still talk to them. Uh, I was very happy to involve SheCodes in uh, some of the PR that we we had, uh, both for the training event and for the WIA. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, a la carte sponsors this year. I feel like I'm a walking advertisement. I feel like I'm uh, in NASCAR or something. So uh, yes, yeah, so we have uh, these great lanyards from Checkmarks. Uh, we have Checkpoint through the badges. And of course, all these shirts, right? They're fantastic. We have, uh, I don't even remember who we have here. Can't see my back. We have Dome 9, Checkpoint, uh, Perimeter X, and Vata do these fantastic t-shirts. We're gonna give them out later in the day. Um, so yeah, you can find them. And I gotta say, I love being a walking advertisement. One day I put on a shirt without any logos, I just, it just felt wrong, uncomfortable. I didn't shoot my shirt, it was just wrong. So these are our sponsors. These are all great sponsors. They help uh, put the budget together, and thanks to them, we're able to still continue to offer this conference free um, with food and everything. So I uh, really appreciate all the, uh, all the help from all the sponsors. Uh, Tiffany did not show up yet, did she? She's still on the way, probably jet lagged. Um, so I wanted to introduce you all to Tiffany. Uh, she's the community manager. She will be around here later on. She blue hair, you'll be able to find her. 
uh, anybody that wants to join or ask about things like that. Uh, so I'll just go run, run down real quick about things that she was going to talk about what OWASP does. She was going to talk about how OWASP is based on teamwork. And OWASP is a community. More than uh, anything else, it's an open source community, both of people and projects. And thanks to having uh, everybody working together, this is what gets OWASP to the mission that we want. The mission, as I mentioned before, is to make software security visible. Usually, or rather a huge percentage of security spend for organizations is around network security, firewalls, antivirus, things like that. And software security, well, that's, that's where the core business is, right? So that's what, what we really are doing here at OWASP, trying to make software security visible, trying to make people uh, pay more attention to it, both through development and all the other phases of um, software. So we can actually pay attention to software security. OWASP has 113 active projects. These include both software projects, things like Zap for testing. Uh, there's libraries like eZappy that programmers can just do, drop in and include in their code. And there's a lot of documentation projects, like the OWASP Top 10, which I'm sure most of you have heard of, uh, Proactive Controls, and a whole bunch of other uh, really interesting documentation projects. One of, the favorite one, one of my favorite ones is Cheat Sheets. If you're not familiar with OWASP Cheat Sheets, definitely recommend checking it out. They're fantastic mini drops of exactly what you need to know at any uh, given topic. There are currently 385 chapters around the world, okay, active chapters. We're not even talking about the growing ones, uh, like nearby. Um, so yeah, so uh, wherever you go, unless you find a, an active chapter, somebody to talk to, there are 80, 000, over 80,000 people on, whether they're active on the uh, mailing lists or the different groups and uh, uh, things like that. There are 88, over 88, I guess, I guess it's 88 uh, different citations by industry and government uh, uh, regulations, things like um, the PCI rec recommends uh, OWASP and a whole bunch of other uh, citations, over 100 uh, academic supporters, universities, colleges, things like that. 40 corporate members. There are 2,000, almost two, almost two and a half thousand individual paying members. These are people that pay $50 or, or $30 depending on the location and just to become an individual member of OWASP is something that I cannot recommend enough. Now people ask, okay, what do I get my for my $50? First of all, I get that nice, warm, fuzzy feeling of supporting the, the organization that helps so much. All right, that's always uh, a nice thing. Uh, you get a discount for any of our global conferences, the, the global fundraisers, whether it's uh, uh, the Europe conference or the, uh, um, the uh, US conference or the OWASP summit. Uh, so you get a $50 discount right up front. So you go to two conferences, you're already making money. Um, you do get, uh, do we have anybody here that's individual members? If you are, fantastic, come to me later, you get a, a member shirt. Members don't actually get member shirts. Um, uh, I'm not wearing that. With, uh, uh, it's a nice shirt, come to me later. Uh, anybody that joins today will also get a shirt on the spot, any other conference you go to will also get um, shirts. You also get to vote uh, for the uh, global directors. Uh, the board of directors help really drive change in the industry, help us f decide what OWASP should be working on. And that's what you get for basically for membership. And there's a few other small uh, perks, which hopefully if Tiffany shows up, she'll explain. Um, I'm not that familiar with it. Um, but Tiffany will be on site, and you can definitely join here on the spot and be able to uh, get those benefits right away. Uh, OWASP has spent in the past year over a million dollars working on the mission. Okay. This includes things like the OWASP Summit, which I'll mention uh, in a moment, spending, uh, sponsoring open source projects, and doing a lot of things like that. And this is what OWASP does. Okay. So OWASP is not about the companies, it's not about us, it's about everybody. We need people to join, whether it's join as a, as a member, joining the chapter and being more active, joining a project and start submitting code, everything is open source, go ahead and change, whatever you want. And sharing this knowledge with everybody else. One of the best things I heard from the training yesterday is that several people told me, uh, my boss will only let me come if I gather the notes and give a talk back to all my colleagues, explain to them everything I learned. That's fantastic, that's exactly what we want. We want that network effect of sharing that information. It's exactly what we need. A couple of things about the coming year. Okay, the, uh, I mentioned before the global uh, AppSec EU conference, AppSec Europe conference. Next year we'll be in nearby Tel Aviv. Hey. 
June 17th to 21st, a few days of training, a few other things like uh, Developer Summit, Project Summit, and the main conference is on June 20th and 21st. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, Cyber Week, so works good. Hey, Ofer's here, Ofer Mar, give him a hand. So as I said, AppSec Europe is a great uh, place to meet people from all over the world. Uh, look into it. Another thing that's really interesting is the OSP, OSP Summit, doing it again this year in near, in near London um, in April. This is basically a week, it's kind of like a conference, except instead of sitting there listening to me drone on, you're doing the work. The OSP Summit is you coming, and if you're looking for the opportunity to be able to do work for free, that's a great place. We got you covered. And you can work on OSP projects, meet people all over. I went to last year, it was amazing. Uh, I met one of my idols, Adam Shostak. He did a threat modeling session and we, we created a methodology of uh, threat modeling for OWASP, it was fantastic. <laughs> I, really rec I really recommend going to that if you can. A little bit about the uh, Israel chapter in OWASP. So, um, that's us, <laughs> uh, already seen it. We have close to a thousand users on our mailing list. Um, we don't post junk there, it's not a discussion group, just announcements uh, and occasional job postings that are relevant to the industry here. Uh, such a great place. place. We have uh, our meetup group, uh, of course, over a thousand members. We are the eighth largest OS meetup group. So that's pretty cool. We do uh, around quarterly meetings every two or three months. We have a chapter meeting, which is an evening of two or three hours. And we have a few great, really in-depth lectures. Um, free, of course, welcome to join uh, this conference, of course. And we also do a lot of, uh, uh, other than working on you know, the regular OS projects. We also do a lot of translations, okay? We have the OS top 10 translated to Hebrew, if people need that. We translated the CISO guide to Hebrew because a lot of uh, corporate CISOs in Israel need that. We have the proactive controls translated to Hebrew. Now there's almost, almost all of this is the work of one guy who just sees a new version of OS top 10 come out and he does, he says, it's translated before I see it, it's final. It is amazing work. I recommend all of you start doing this work because we're going to reward him with free membership to OWASP. Not gonna call him out now by name, but come to me later, you'll get your shirt. You know who I'm talking to. You'll get your shirt and the, the rest of the benefits for it. So there is some give back from the, from the uh, community. Uh, who's here for the first time at the conference? Yeah, give, give me a round of hand. The anonymous translator. Okay, who's here for the first time uh, at AppSec Israel? Oh, wow, a nice crop of uh, new faces, fantastic. I thought I was going uh, senile, didn't recognize anybody. Um, so just so you know, uh, we have track number one on the schedule. Um, it says uh, on the left, the track number one that's right here. Um, breaks will be outside, so track number one is here. The second track is in room 10. If you, if you walk across to where the sponsors are, you walk through the sponsors to the end of the hall, that's room 10, that's where track two is taking place. Okay. In addition, we have the workshops going on. As I mentioned, we have the Capture the Flag workshops. That's in room 37. When you walk into the computer si uh, science uh, building, go around the wall to your right, to the end of the ha hallway on the right side, and that's where we're having uh, the technical workshops. We'll be doing, oh yeah, should sign up, sorry, should sign up on the agenda, on the, uh, on the schedule. You can just add yourself to the session and be able to go in. <clears throat> we're also going, as I mentioned, we're doing the resume workshop. That would be in room number 12, which is to the left of room 10. Okay? The numbering is not sequential. Um, yeah, so that's uh, where the resume workshop is taking place. That's between 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock. So just wander in and, uh, and see who's there to, uh, to help you. And of course, the sponsors are all in the uh, lobby in the, uh, the entranceway of the computer science department. Uh, snacks, coffee all day long, uh, coffee all day long, snacks we'll have during breaks, uh, both here and by the computer science department. And uh, well, when Tiffany, get, Tiffany gets here, we'll set her up uh, with a desk if you want to meet her and uh, uh, join as a member, we'll be able to do that. Now a couple things I need to finish up, even though we're running just a few minutes late, I'm going to uh, take a few more minutes to talk about something that we need to mention. I've had a lot of comments. Um, both for people who want to pay for, for talks on the stage or for people who are disappointed about a talk. It's like, why do you let that sponsor have uh, time on the stage? No, money does not do talks. There's no pay for play. Everything was done purely independent, content free. This year we even completely separated the committees, those that are dealing with sponsors and those that are dealing with the talks and Chinese firewall between them. Nobody knows what's going on, so there is no pay for play. 
Uh, last year, I mentioned on the stage that I was very disappointed that we only had 5% of the submissions were female. I'm going to rant about this for a minute. Um, and I collected statistics over years and compared to a lot of other conferences in Israel, and it's about that. And it, and it was really disappointing. And I said that we're going to change things. So a few of the things that we did to change, uh, to, see, to see if we can improve it. First of all, we changed the way we built the uh, content selection committee. Instead of having the same group of people on the, uh, the chapter uh, board, instead of having the same people in our, in our own little bubble, choosing the same people that we know, independently, sure, but we still know the people, we know the content. This year we gathered a whole bunch of different, spe uh, different leaders in the industry, unrelated to the chapter, or partially related to the chapter, and they were in charge of the selection. So that was what we had. We had uh, Erez Matula and Irene and uh, Ian and Guy. They were in charge of the, uh, in the content, completely separate from everything else that the chapter board does. That's one thing we changed. We did um, anonymous submissions, blind reviews. So when the content committee was choosing the talks, they didn't even know who they were selecting. Okay? It's not that anybody would say, oh, I'm not going to choose a one speaker, except that completely separate that out. Okay? So purely, all the talks were chosen purely based on the content of the submission. This, this year, for the first year, we actually uh, publicized our, uh, an explicit code of conduct, not that we've ever had problems in the past, well, at least as far as we know. If any problems ever do come up, find anybody in a uh, purple shirt. Uh, we'll be happy to help if there's any problems. And basically, no tolerance for bad, bad conduct, basically. Another thing that we did is we uh, did a lot of targeted outreach to specific speakers, to uh, female groups, through she codes, I mentioned through cyber ladies and a few other uh, industry groups. And so these are the changes we made. We actually, so overall we had over 50 submissions after we filtered out the junk. We actually had over 50 submissions, which is a pretty good crop, which is more than three times the amount of talks that we had to, uh, were able to select, which is pretty good. The quality of them was amazing. Higher than last year even, really pleased with it. And the bottom line is that we had 15% of the submissions from female speakers. Some of, them, some of them were together, you know, a, a group, uh, group of speakers, one of them was female. That still counts, but you know, it depends how you count it. Uh, this still counts. Definitely an improvement. Three times as more as that we've had in any year in the past. That said. 15% is nowhere near where it needs to be. Okay? Now, if anybody is asking themselves why is it so important, or why are you guys even doing the WIA event, all right? uh, you know, there's plenty of women, we don't need, we don't need to encourage them, we don't need um, to, to improve. Um, it's really simple. Our industry is broken. I think most of you know that. Our industry is broken, and we definitely need to change the situation. And it's not because uh, you know I have my, my lovely daughters going to the industry and I want them to have a good experience in the industry. It's true, not the point, because it's not about me. Okay? It's not because my wife finds it attractive that I'm being all feminist, all social justice and everything. True, not the point. It's not about me. Okay? And it's not just because I prefer working uh, with uh, uh, female colleagues where that um, we're, if we don't have, uh, uh, if we don't improve the diversity, that will miss out on some of the best talent out there. True, not the point. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about the companies. It's definitely not because oh, we can pay uh, female workers less. If you ever hear that pile of bullcrap, please just serve them a big pile of physical bullcrap because that's just that's just disgusting. That's not true. Other than that. Everything else is true, not the point. It's not about me, it's not about you. It's about the fact that our industry is broken and we are changing it. We will fix it and we are working on that. We will get better on that. I'm done with my rant, sorry about that. Um, a little bit of our social media. So we have all the groups here, meeting list, uh, the mailing list, the meetup. Of course, it's all in the back here of the schedules. Um, LinkedIn, Facebook, of course. Twitter is OS underscore IL. A little bit of case of uh, identity theft, not getting into that. Uh, getting back to you guys, what do we need from you? Anybody was here at, uh, B oh, anybody here was at B-Sides Tel Aviv uh, a few months ago? Fantastic, we all remember the closing keynote, Ian Amit got up and said, get up and do something. 
whether it's working on projects, whether it's creating community, whether it's giving a talk, wherever you feel comfortable with. You don't feel give, comfortable giving a talk in front of 500 people, fine. Go mentor some high school class. They need it. It's helpful. Get up and do something. Be active. Give back to the community. Some ways we can do that in OWASP is the chapter meetings, whether it's a company willing to sponsor, whether to host uh, the meeting. Usually we have about uh, 100, 150 people uh, joining the meeting in the evening. You know, get to uh, give out your little freebies and uh, give some food, some drink, maybe some beers. It's all good. Speaking is good. We always need more speakers, though uh, about two thirds of the submissions we weren't able to take. The more submissions we get, the better we can improve it. And yes, you know, we had a lot of, thanks to the blind submissions, we had a lot of brand new speakers, first time speakers, which I'm very happy about. Again, that improves our pool of talent, improves our pool of speakers. Okay, uh, we can work on uh, the OS projects. Uh, we have some uh, translations going on, as I mentioned. Uh, sponsorship is always useful, always very helpful. Uh, and membership, as I mentioned. I think I saw Tiffany walk in. Oh, there you are. Tiffany, you want to say a quick few words about membership? We are running just a few minutes late. We'll catch up. So, um, I don't know if OWASP, uh, if Avi told you. I've now started identifying him as OWASP. Um, I don't know if Avi told you, but in the last year, OWASP has been really lucky and we've been able to give away a million dollars to chapters and projects in order to make the industry amazing. And the way we do this is um, through our amazing members. But here's the thing, we only have about 2,500 members. So members are the people who decide that OWASP does so much for them, for their careers, for their teams, helps prepare them, brings them amazing documentation like the cheat sheets, um, gives them tools for free like Zap, that they want to donate to us 20 or $50. That money is split between their chapter or the project that they choose. So if you're here, you should definitely give the money to um, OWASP Israel so that they can do this again next year. I thought you were going to say give it to Avi. The other OWASP Avi. Um, that money is then used to help continue outreach programs like today's event, like yesterday where we trained uh, 300 developers and helped them become more secure um, developers to make your jobs as security professionals slightly easier. Um, when you become a member, we do give you a few things. The first thing we give you is an OWASP email so that you can do whatever you want under the OWASP name to reach out to other people to get out there and do something, like Avi said. The next is you can actually change the face of the industry because you're able to vote on our boards of directors, you're able to vote on where we need to spend our money, you're able to vote on what our priorities are, and frankly, we don't have enough people from around the world telling us what the global uh, position is on these things. Most of our members do come from select countries, so I really want to make sure that we hear more voices. And then, of course, you know, you get a discount on all of our global events. And by the way, next year, our global event is going to be here in Tel Aviv. Yeah! Come on! Um, but also, you get that delightful feeling of when you've, when you've donated to a cause that you know is important, that you know is going to help, that's going to bring the next generation of, of your industry up, but that's also going to help our industry change and face our issues. There's not much out there on how to secure an API, but we know that APIs are the grease that make the internet work. They're the grease that make everything work. So we're trying to do that. There's, there's not that much information out there beyond um, things like the top 10 for developers. And we know that helping developers understand what it is they need to care about when it comes to security is going to make your job a lot less stressful, or at least move the stress. So this is what our members do. This is what, as a member, you can commit to doing. Is there anything else? I'm gonna hand the mic back. So that's uh, Tiffany, the community manager. Please do find her later. Ask about what you can do. Ask about projects you can join. Ask about how to, to become a member. Um, yeah. And most importantly, as I said, continue to promote OS. As Tiffany said also, that's what we need. We're gonna do that. One other thing we need from you, we have the conference and joining sessions. We need to know what, it, what, what works and what doesn't, what is good and what is, needs to be improved. So please, you're gonna fill out the feedback forms, uh, the feedback on each session. You can do that directly from the agenda online. 
and we're going to send you a survey at the end of the day. We're going to send you a link to fill out some general information. Uh, so yeah, so that's one thing that we need. Uh, we are running just a few minutes late. We're going to, I think, according to the schedule, we're going to be 10 minutes past everything on the schedule. Okay, so we're going to continue, uh, I think, in five minutes. We're going, to, we're going to split up now. Yeah, come on up. So uh, we're going to invite the rest of the board up, the chapter board. Or Yossi, Ofer, Hamed, Irene. Want to call for a second? Ofer? No? Irene? No? No? Bueller? 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 So uh, one thing that we did this year is, thanks to Orr's work, we managed to, for the first time, actually not lose money on the conference. So we were able to afford these great toys. There you go. Here and in room 10. Here's which track you're going to. 